Hi, I'm Lisa. Welcome back to my glass studio. In one of our recent videos, How to Fit Your Glass Like a Pro, we had phenomenal response and phenomenal comments. Thank you so much for participating and letting us know that you're enjoying these videos. We really appreciate that. So one of the comments was, that's great, but what about circles? What do you do with circles? So we thought we would do a follow-up and show you how to grind circles. So when you cut a circle, basically use it, if you can and you have one, a circle cutter is your best way to get the most accurate shape. So you use a circle cutter, you cut the perimeter shape, and then you go in and you make some concentric circles up to that, that circular score to remove the excess material. Now wherever those score lines meet and intersect, there's gonna be a little bump. And it's very consistent with cutting circles. Straight lines generally cut very cleanly and very, uh, have very neat edges. They're straight. Anytime you want glass to make a curve, it doesn't really prefer that. It prefers to go straight. So you have to do it in a series of steps. So a circle, you do the exterior shape of your circle first. Then you go back in and you do relief cuts to remove that out, the material that's outside of your circular area. Now, so this one, this circle right here was cut with the circle cutter and cleaned up a little bit. It has some what I call flanges, areas where the edge, um, I'm putting this over the white so you can hopefully see it, where the edge flares out a little bit, like here. See if the back helps. See that the circular shape isn't really perfect? And then it has these flanges where the edge flares out. I like to clean that up with the grinder. And then here, the edge is really, really nice. We have really great edge quality. So when you cut a circle, you want to grind where it's necessary. You, I do kind of buzz all the way around, but you really want to grind a little more where it's necessary. And the other areas, just make the edge not sharp. Just take the roughness off or just take the, the shine off of it, really. Uh, and the trick with circles, and especially when you get bigger ones, it's really easy to over grind. You can actually grind an indentation into your circle and change the shape, which is not good. The weight of the glass on the grinder, when you push, the weight kind of helps you and it moves into that grinder bit and creates little indentations like this right here, this right here. We have a little bit of inconsistent um, edge quality here. See with these bumps? Let me turn this over because I think this is the front, front side. But see these little bit of inconsistencies in the edge quality here. What we want to do with the grinder is smooth that out. So basically we would kind of take that off, kind of take that off, uh, take that off, that right there, right there. A little bit right here and here. So it's not a lot, but it makes a difference in you know the finished product and you know the nice edge quality of your finished piece of art. So these little areas where it's a, there's a little bit of a bump, I would kind of take off pretty much just what I'm marking with the Sharpie. So like I said, it's not a lot, but it does make a difference in the overall quality of your finished piece. And we always want to do our best work, right? Yes, we do. So I'm going to take this to the grinder and grind it off. And you're saying to me, Lisa, that edge doesn't need to be ground. That's, uh, that's too much work. It's uh, not necessary. Well, um, it is necessary because I want to do my best work on every single step, and you should too. You're out here in your studio having a great time. Make it a great time and make sure that that piece, when it comes out of the kiln, you are so proud of it, you want to show it to everybody. You don't want to say, oh, gosh, I should have done that step a little better. No, do that step a little bit better. You can. Okay, head, let's head to the grinder. So I've got my grinder bit right here. Anytime you use a grinding piece of equipment, you want it to have water. And I've got some lights up here to help me to, to um, brighten it up. This right here is my grinding surface. The on and off bit is over here, on and off switch rather. And now when I grind, I'm gonna grind all the way around, but I'm gonna hold the grinder a little longer in those places where the black line is. And I'm gonna grind a little back and forth to make sure I get a better edge quality here. So it's a little hard for you to hear me when I'm grinding, so I'm gonna just uh, grind and then I'll explain a little bit more about what I'm doing.
how this looks. Pour the water back in there. But sometimes if you, it helps if you look at it from the back. Um, I'm pretty content with this edge here, right here. See a little bit of bumps there? I'm going to take a little more off that area. A little more spray here. Pretty happy with that. All right, let's go ahead and bring the blue one over. We'll grind that one also. So this one still has a relatively clean circular shape. So I'm just going to buzz enough to get off this flange here and over here and over here. Can you see that little indentation there? That's where I pushed a little hard on the grinder and stayed in that area. So I'm going to have to soften that out a little bit. Oh, it's still there a little bit, but I'm not going to worry about that any. Well, I'm going to take it off. Because uh, that's the whole point, right? There we go. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. So, uh, the trick to some circles because they tend to be oh, all my towels are somewhere else of course so let me grab a towel over here come with me here we go all right so might as well use it on my nose while i got it um larger pieces of glass particularly i find this on circles you have a tendency because of the shape you know to push instead of rotate so you want to keep, you know, pay attention to your technique and make sure you're rotating and not pushing too hard in any one area. Otherwise, you'll end up with an indentation. And I always make sure my glass is clean and dry before I move to the next step. And I just use the water from the grinder. And if it's really, really dusty, I use a wet sponge right over here. I have a bucket of water, wet sponge. I would wipe it down if I feel like it needed it. And then dry it with a nice dry towel. I get these towels online. I get a whole, look over here, check this out. I got a few towels. I don't know why I can never find one, right? Because they're always on the other table. Just like your Sharpie is always on the other table. All right, so I'm really pleased with the way this piece came out. And let's dry this one off. Now, I don't assume the Sharpie will burn off. I like to wash it off. A lot of people just assume it's going to burn off, but I feel like that's one potential contaminant in your project that could burn in and cause an issue. So if I know that I've taken it all off, like right there, if I know that I've taken it all off and my glass is clean and dry, then I'm sure that I did everything I possibly could to get the best results on my project. All right, now I'm really pleased with the shape of this. I'm pleased with the cleanliness. So circles can be a little tricky to, to grind. You would be, might be surprised by that. But and the bigger the circle, the harder it is to grind actually because you really tend to put indentations. Like when we're making sinks where we're working with a 19 inch circle, Students all the time grind a uh, big indent into their piece of glass. And then we have to ease that out by doing more grinding. So thank you so much for the comments on the last video. And thank you so much for the comment that encouraged this particular topic. We appreciate you and your participation. It really helps us out. And it's great to hear that you guys are enjoying the videos, enjoying the content, and have as much of fun as we are. So um, please consider joining or becoming a member of my premium video membership. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out my website, got lots of free stuff there. New, two new free patterns just went up, new um, premium video membership video is going up very soon. And just thank you so much for watching. And if you like it, follow, share, you know, you know what to do. Uh, so thanks for joining me today in the studio and until next time, happy fusing.